When God speaks, the wise must listen. On the 4th of February 2018, the man of God, Prophet Abera Gebede, released a prophecy with the nation of Israel being of great concern. Children of God, we have to pray for the nation of Israel. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing tough, terrible. It's the armies of running up and down. I'm seeing the helicopters are this. What can I say? But we have to pray for the nation, for the gospel land, Amen. for the land which is loved by God. Amen. We have responsibility to pray. Hallelujah. Amen. God is faithful. He is not a man to lie. On the 10th of February, 2018, the prophecy came to fulfillment. Julie, Israel says in a series of raids, it targeted the uh, drone's mobile launcher as well as uh, defensive systems in Syria operated by both the Syrian government as well as Iran. Now, the Israeli military says its aircraft uh, were met with massive anti-aircraft fire. Children of God, we have to pray for the nation of Israel. I'm, I'm seeing tough, terrible. I'm seeing the helicopters are this. During the attack, one of its F-16s was downed on the Israeli side of the border. The two pilots on board ejected. One, though, was seriously wounded. This appears to be the first time an Israeli aircraft was shot down since the Second Lebanon War, which was more than three decades ago. I'm, I'm seeing tough, terrible. Residents in Damascus cheered the news. Syrian officials claimed more than one Israeli plane was hit. Israel says the assault was in retaliation for an Iranian drone that infiltrated Israeli airspace. Israel released video of what it says is the drone being blown out of the sky by an Apache helicopter. I'm seeing the helicopters are this. Iran would not confirm the Israeli claim, the Iran foreign ministry calling it ridiculous. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says there's no doubt who was responsible for that drone infiltration. This morning, Iran brazenly violated Israel's sovereignty. They dispatched an Iranian drone from Syrian territory into Israel. And this demonstrates that our warnings were 100% correct. Israel holds Iran and its Syrian host responsible for today's aggression. We will continue to do whatever is necessary to protect our sovereignty, and our security. Israel is now asking the uh, UN Security Council to condemn what it is calling this Iranian act of provocation. Meanwhile, now Russia, which has troops in, in Syria supporting the regime, uh, regime of Bashar al-Assad, has issued a statement through its foreign ministry saying that, quote, we urge all parties to exercise restraint and to avoid actions that could lead to an even greater complication of the situation. And underscoring just how tense the situation was today, Israel, for a brief period of time, shut down operations at Ben Gurion Airport, the country's main airport, because there was concern that Syria and or its allies could launch missile attacks from the north. Operations at the airport have now resumed, but the situation here continues to remain tense.